you can use macros in Excel to automate tasks. And as an example, we're going to set up a macro that will open a workbook for us, copy some of the orders in there, and paste them into a new workbook. Now, before you start recording a macro, you think about what you want the macro to do. Sometimes you want it to select a specific sheet or just run on whatever sheet is currently active. So sometimes you want to select a cell or a sheet before you start recording. Now we've got a new blank workbook here, book one, and we're just going to start from here. So to start recording, I'll go to the bottom left and click the record macro button. And in the dialog box, I'm going to type a name for the macro, and it has to be all one word. So I'll call this copy daily records. And then I choose a place to store the macro, and I'm just going to leave it in this workbook. There are other choices that I could use, but we'll go with this workbook. And you can also type a description if you like. I could type copy orders or something descriptive in there or just leave it blank. Once you've filled in those cells click OK to start recording. Now the first step in our macro is going to be to open the file that has the orders. So I'll click the office button and go to open and in this folder we're going to select orders and open it. So here's the list of orders, and the next thing we want to do is find any orders where binders were ordered. So we'll apply a filter. So on the Data tab, I'll click Filter, and then I'll filter for Binder. And now that I have the orders selected, I'll select the entire region of cells here. So with the keyboard I pressed Control and Shift and the number 8 which is so Control and Shift 8 is pressing an asterisk and that selects the entire region and now I'm going to on the Home tab copy those cells. So we open the file filtered and copied. Now we're going to create a new file and paste what we've copied. So now all the steps are completed and we'll go down to the bottom left again and click the stop recording button. So we've recorded the macro, did all the steps that we want it to do every day, and I'm just going to close this file where we pasted the orders and I'm not going to save and I'm going to close the orders file and not save the changes. Now to test the macro we can go to the developer tab and if you don't see a developer tab you'll have to change your settings and to do that you go to the office button and click Excel options and on the popular category, just look down a couple of check boxes and you'll see Show Developer tab in the ribbon. So just make sure that that is turned on. And then you'll see the Developer tab here. And if you haven't run macros before, you may have to change your macro security settings. I have mine for Disable All Macros with Notification. So you might have to check with your IT department on what settings you can use. Now to run our macro. So on the Developer tab, I'll click Macros, and I've selected this workbook as the location for the macros. And here's the macro that we recorded, and I'll click Run. And there, in just a second or two, it did all the steps that took us a minute or two to do manually. So a macro can save you quite a bit of time if it's something that you do every day or even every week or month.